Care. We see a polar bear at the starting of the movie. Some people were present there to hunt it. One of the men shoots the bear. Initially, we feel as if it did not do any effect on it. Later it starts attacking them. They all move back as the bear was about to attack them. But, it falls and dies there itself. Here they also see the dead animal on which the bear was feeding. Then they lift the bear and take it to their research lab. The next scene shifts to a university, we see some students there and they were going to a lab for research. There we see a girl named Evelyn. She is the daughter of Dr. Kruipan, who is seen researching a virus in the movie. Dr. Kruipan was making her agree to join him, but she refuses because she was very angry with him. When Dr. Kruipan says that he will transfer all the property of her mother to her name, then she agrees to join him. On another side, the companions of Dr. Kruipan tell him the bear is dead. Those were the people we saw at the start of the movie and they were the companions of Dr. Kruipan. They were researching something. The bear was also a part of their research. After two days we see Dr. Kruipan talking to Bart on a call. Here Dr. asks Bart to forbid his daughter and the other students to join him. But Evelyn doesn't listen to his advice. Now they all reach the research lab by helicopter. In the next scene, we see the people from the research facility. Their condition was very pathetic. When they reached the lab, they noticed that it was just lying in the dark as the generator was out of order. Here Evelyn and her companion Adam were exploring the research facility in darkness. Suddenly, they come into a room in which the smell was disgusting. At the same time, when the lights were turned on, they see a huge polar bear. It was the same polar bear that was brought there by the companions of Dr. Kruipan. Meanwhile, after turning on the generator Bart comes there. Seeing the bear he asks Adam to click a picture of him with it. As he puts his arm on the bear, he feels like an insect has stung him. But he ignores it and they all leave from there. In the next scene, we see Evelyn calling her father. He scolds her as they did not obey his orders. Now he asks them to stop at the research facility. Later, some strange thing starts to happen in the movie, a female companion of Dr. Kruipan shoots Dr. Kruipan and his companion. Then the scene shifts to night, one of the students at the research facility notices some strange insects in a room. The student gets scared after seeing those insects, he immediately shifts the room. But his friend stays there. At midnight, Evelyn wakes up and sees someone coming there. When she goes out she sees the female companion of Dr. Kruipan getting out of the helicopter. Her condition was worse, Evelyn takes her inside the research facility. Here they were taking care of her. Meanwhile, a fellow student of hers comes there. Her body was full of rashes. After seeing her, they all get shocked. Then the other one tells them about the insects. The insects which he saw inside the room. The boy was still scared and he advises that they should leave this place, later while they were ready to move from that place. They noticed some defect in the helicopter as a result they couldn't move from there. In the next scene, we see the infected lady was about to die. Her condition was getting worse and some kind of a strange fluid was also coming from her mouth, Evelyn tries to save her. But Bart understands that it is a bad infection and he forbids Evelyn to do anything. Here they seal the room. Evelyn and Adam move to search for Evelyn's father. Reaching the research spot, they see a dead animal. Some insects were feeding on it and it also has the eggs of those insects. They also notice a dead body there. The dead body was one of the companions of the doctor. They suspect maybe that lady has killed them. When they return to the research facility, they notice the same insects and eggs on that lady's body. They get worried after seeing them. Seeing all this, one of her friends becomes very worried. He calls the rescue helicopter so that it will rescue them. Then Evelyn also sees the bear and finds the same infection on it. Seeing it, she understands that the situation is critical. It is a kind of infection that can spread like a pandemic. Evelyn makes her companions understand that they shouldn't move from this place in this situation. Because this infection could spread in the whole world. She decides that they will stop the rescue helicopter which is coming there. But her companion negates her advice. He destroys the radio system by shooting it. So that it will not stop the rescue operation. In the next scene, 
we see one of them who came with Evelyn, we see the same eggs on her body. Seeing her, Evelyn knows that girl is also infected. Then they again go to the lab. The place where they placed the body of the lady with the bear. Seeing strange insects coming out of her body they all get scared. On another side, due to the bite of the insect, the infection of Bart's hand was spreading. In this scenario, the infection could spread to his whole body. That's why he decides to cut his hand to arrest the spreading of the infection. At first, the companions of Bart did not agree with his idea. But when he insisted, Evelyn brings some first aid there with courage, she cuts his hand with a huge knife, as a result his hand was bleeding very heavily. But, Evelyn tries to stop it. Now we see many insects were coming out of the amputated hand but Adam kills them with fire and stops them from moving further. Later Evelyn decides to research those insects and infections. During this process, she finds the diary of her father. There she finds a lot of information about those insects and infections. Here we come to know that her father knows much about those insects. Noticing all this, Evelyn decides to take her father's camera from the lady's hand. Her friends forbid her to keep away from the lady. When she insists very much, they agree with her decision but on one condition, if she carries any one of the insects then they will not let her come out of the room. She accepts their decision and enters the room by fully covering her body. When she was coming out after taking the camera, suddenly, the insects come out of the bear's body and they were about to attack her, but she immediately comes out. But even after much care, an insect was about to enter her body, Adam cleverly takes it out of her body and saves her from infection. In the next scene, we see all of them were seeing the videos of Dr. Kruipan. Meanwhile, those insects come there. While inspecting those insects they all go to the lab, there they see the body of the bear which has been decomposed by those insects. Those insects were in large quantities in the lab. On another side, we see Evelyn's infected friend requesting her to let her come out. With it, she also wants to tell one of her friends was also infected. But before she tells this info, one of them shoots her. They all think that he shot her to avoid the spread of infection. In the same scene, we see Evelyn checking Bart's hand. Seeing the insects in his hand, she confirms that Bart is also infected. Now Bart decides that he will stay there. He asks them to leave from there. But before going out, Evelyn and Adam decide they will go out after testing themselves. If anyone was infected then he or she will not go out from there. On listening to their condition the third fellow becomes very angry as he was infected already. He reveals in front of everyone that he is infected and he will go out definitely. Hearing it, they become very worried. They try to stop him but he has a gun. Evelyn and Adam were making him understand that how can he put all the world in danger for his sake? Just for some time to save his life how you will finish the people of the whole of the world? But he ignores them. When he was about to shoot them, suddenly Dr. Krupen comes from behind and shoots him. Here the entry of Dr. Krupen was a lifesaver for them. Dr. Krupen asked them to destroy this facility. To avoid the spread of this infection. They were about to do it but they think that they should see the full recordings first. After seeing the video, they also come to know that Evelyn's father is also infected. He infected himself on his own. So that he can know about the infection. So that he can save the lives by sacrificing his life. Seeing all this, Evelyn becomes sad. She tries to make her father understand it is not the way to save the world. But the doctor ignores them. He locks them in the facility. Meanwhile, the rescue helicopter comes there they were about to leave from there. Meanwhile, Evelyn and Adam after trying a lot they succeed to come out of the facility. They shoot the helicopter with a gun. Due to it, the helicopter loses its balance and falls on the facility. Due to it, the facility and helicopter both get destroyed. Due to the blast of the helicopter, Adam also dies due to the blast. Evelyn gets very depressed after seeing him.